This is Cameron Chai from azom.com on behalf of VCAM coming to you from the Carbon Fibre Future Direction Conference in Geelong, Australia. The conference has been organised by VCAM and Deakin University and is sponsored by VCAM, Deakin University and the Victorian State Government. Today I'm speaking to Peter Wu who's the Vice President and Chief Scientist at Spirit Aerosystems and I'd like to welcome Peter to the program today. Thank you very much. So Peter, can you tell us a little bit about what Spirit Aerosystems does? Uh, Spirit Aerosystem is the biggest uh, tier one supplier in the aerospace industry. Uh, we make components for Boeing and the Airbus and along with many other OEMs. Okay, and what sort of, what sort of components do you make? Uh, we make the, the fuselage, we also make uh, wing components and we apply the technology not only just to do the manufacturing side but also we do the design, research development, manufacturing and uh, certification and uh, aftermarket. So we have the whole spectra of the business in the aircraft industry. Okay, and then some of the other, who are some of the other companies that you supply parts to? Uh, we also supply, uh, make parts for Gulfstream and uh, Skorsky helicopter and uh, you know we, we did some work with the other company too like Hawker Beach and Cessna before. Okay and you were also involved with the defense industry? Uh, yes and the way uh, working for Skorsky make the helicopter the heavy lifter and also there's a program called PA-8, you know, that is for the Navy program. Okay, and, uh, and how long have you been involved with the, with the, the aerospace industry? Oh, um, more than uh, 25 years. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, and, and how, how, how have you, what are the big changes you've seen in, in aerospace component manufacture since you've been there? And uh, we, uh, we are growing. And we develop a lot of uh, technology to address the market and also the customer need. And in the, in the meantime, uh, the green chemistry play a very, very important role. So we do the automation and also we develop the different technology and uh, assembly technology as well. So a lot of things going on. It's getting very interesting career for me working in the aircraft industry. And as far as automation is concerned, what, what, what advances has automation brought to your industry? Uh, for the composite, uh, as an example, I remember the time when I just started working in the aircraft industry. Uh, you go to the factory, you see a lot of workers, they put a pre prep layer by layer. This is called a hand layup. But it, when you do that, it is very, very difficult to make a whole fuselage by using composite. But today, we use the automatic fiber placement machine, apply the fiber by machine. So that way, you can make the whole fuselage by using composite. A lot of automation, you know, in the composite area. And also like drilling, uh, if you just drill by hand, hand drilling, you can never get a good quality, okay? Put the fastener to the structure. You can never get very smooth surface. So by using automation, you can get exactly the same thing. You do the right maintenance, you do the not only just preventive maintenance, you do the predictive man maintenance. So you can uh, make sure the quality is there and then you can make sure the time is right. Several things are important for, for manufacturing. The first one is cost quality and delivery. So automation will help all of these. But most important is the people. And the people, you need to have the right people. The people with the vision. The people get a good plan. And also they can put everything together, the integration, the system engineering. Okay, so you are working the technology side, you're working in the manufacturing side, and also you work, you know, to make the best product for the customer. All right, and what about as far as materials are concerned? Are you finding that there's, there's obviously a lot more uptake of composite and carbon fiber materials these days in, in component manufacture? Yes, yes. And uh, if you see the trend, 
like production of the composite uh, is getting higher and higher every year. You can see it's just like a straight line, okay? <laughs> it's going up. But what, what do you do is because the material uh, provide value and it has no corrosion problem and also give you very light structure and a very strong structure. So combine all the benefit of that and people get more and more in that area. So the material technology combined with manufacturing technology uh, create value to the customer. So you, you can see that is the trend. Okay, and what about uh, you, you, your company mm -hmm. Spirit Aerosystems has been implementing new programs over the last 10 years. Can you tell us a bit about any of those programs? Yeah, we, we do a lot of programs and we, in the beginning, when we just, uh, we just separate from Boeing five years ago. In 2005, June 17, we separate from the Boeing company. And before the divestiture, uh, we were uh, Boeing division. So we only make the Boeing components. Uh, in the last five years, over five years, we become the biggest supplier to Airbus. We work on the wing components, and re recently we got the big contract to produce the A350 center section. And also we, we produce the, uh, the wind spar, the composite structure for A350. That is a big program, okay? Along that, we also get the uh, com uh, components produced for Airbus for A320 programs, 380 programs, a lot of different ones. And uh, for, for the big commercial airplane, that is something we know how to do it. But in o we see we can create value and also we build a different strategy. We want to use the technology and know-how, provide the best value, not only just for the commercial airplane, but also we want to, to help the entire aerospace industry. So we move the value chain from the big commercial airplane to the regional jet and business jet and also military program. So we are doing a lot of that since just one by one make the life very interesting and uh, the morale is very high because we got a lot of new business going on. Okay, and what about green chemistry? You were telling me before we started yeah. the interview that, that you guys have put into, into place a lot of initiatives to, yes. for, to, for clean technology effectively. Yes. Uh, actually, when I started Boeing, and that was my first job, develop an environmental friendly process. So in other words, it's the green chemistry today, okay? Uh, in order to keep a very good product can fly for many, many years without corrosion, you have to do the chemical treatment. You have to do anodize, you have to, also in order to make the airplane uh, weight uh, lighter, we do the chemical mailing, okay? And a uh, lot of that process, because we deal with the chemical, so it can be a hazardous material for the environment. So we develop the recycling system for chem mail. So any solution we use, we can, regenerate, recycle. Then we can reuse the solution. So that way we don't contaminate the environment. And also for the coating material, because coating we have polymer, we also have uh, solvent. We recycle the solvent so we can reuse the si solvent. So by doing that, similar kind of principle, but we apply to the, to the daily manufacturing. So I think that is one of the reasons we become the leader in our industry. All right, sounds like there's a lot to be learned by, uh, by looking at what you guys have done over the, mm -hmm. in the, in the, well, over the last few years and in your history, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, we are here is to provide a service, not only just for our customer, but also for the community. So if anything we can do to provide value to you or anybody, we will be happy to do that. 
All right then, Peter, thanks very much for your time and telling us about Spirit Aero Systems and uh, what you guys do, and not just for, for the aerospace industry, but for the community in general. Yes, and uh, thank you very much. I think one thing we have unique is we have this spirit. <laughs> All <laughs> thank right. Thank you very much. Thank you, Peter. Thank you.